Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to create this uh, engine shaft balancer. This is basically is a component, one of the component of the engine balancer of a single stroke engine. And this one, uh, after we create this part, then we continue to the part two, which is consist of the manufacturer, which is if you can see here. Uh, I can show the uh, result of the uh, tool pad and then let's uh, continue also to the uh, machining environment and I have a few video which show how is this thing is uh, machine okay okay let's get uh, started okay. first of all I would like to create the uh, at the front view uh, line this line will be around uh, 100, 150 length okay. and then I will create a circle here which is this circle have a position is uh, 40 and then from here uh, is a uh, 60 and with the radius is uh, sorry maybe I will cut this first cut that one cut that one okay and then I put the dimension here uh, 50 as a radius and I put the fillet here okay 15 for the fillet and I put another fillet here okay 15 as well so we are want to relate these two dimension together so I just click this one so they will refer if I change this one to 60 so they will change as well okay okay this is the first cat and then these cats I will create a plane which is I will offset from the right position or right plane so 25 is my first plane and then I will create again to offset maybe 60 and then I will offset again this plane is basically is just going to uh, me to use the uh, love command which is uh, the last one I will use the along the path for them this is the distance is the one as the at the end point of the uh, uh, this line okay and then I will create a sketch here this one is a uh, 20 okay 20 so I will see so, okay D11 so I will relate that D11 as a uh, as a reference and then I also want to create this uh, plane here and then I use the project I project that one okay and then for the third position here I use the I project this intersection curve here Okay, as my reference for the ellipse here. Okay, this ellipse I will create the. Uh, this one is twenty five, and this one may be eighty. Okay, and then finish cats, and continue with this one as well, and I will project the geometry from the very first. Okay, as well as the last sketch will be here and also project the geometry from the first sketch okay okay after that we just follow the curve with the loft command one two three four five okay and then I will use this center line as a guide okay as a guide yeah okay and then I click okay 
so uh, I also want to continue with this uh, shape so I right click here and then uh, let me see where the plane is okay this one and then I create a new sketch I slice it up to easier for me to create the sketch and I will again project the intersection of the first sketch here okay that's a intersection and then I will create a line from here okay. create a line from here and this have a equal length and then I will use this arc center point arc sorry this one should be not like that okay oh, this is the same length and then I use the center point arc from here to here okay with the angle is uh, no that one is not I don't want to be perpendicular so I need to delete the perpendicular constraint with okay okay create the angle 100 and another line just for the construction which is a reference line to measure my uh, angle over there and also the radius here radius should be 40 okay okay and then i just extrude this one with the symmetric and then the total length will be 18 okay but i want to join this okay but i don't want that uh, particular uh, okay let me revise this Okay, maybe I'll put a line over here. I just want to extrude this one. Okay. Symmetric. And then join. With the total length would be 18. Okay, it, or 20. I think 20 is good. Okay. 20. And then, uh, because we want to create a mock-up from this uh, sharp launcher here so we were going to split into two so if we split into two so we can make a mock-up from this uh, shape from the machine shape okay so we want to use the split face this one is going to split and I turn on the origin this is the face to split and then this is the splitting tool okay going to split with uh, two face and I'm going to split another face here and then this is the splitting tool okay and I create a draft angle for this particular uh, this one is the plane as a reference this one and then this one is the face so uncheck the tangent chain just for select one so I create the three I think the three degrees of angle draft angle and continue creating this as well here okay minus three okay and then another draft angle uh, this is the plane this one and then use three degrees and then the last one is uh, here okay should be minus three okay and I'm continue with the fillet here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 edges and then 
I use three. Okay, I will use three for the fillet. But in the corner type, I will change to the setback. So we change the setback. So here, if uh, previously you have the sharp edges here, but when you check the setback, the corner type, so they will have a radius. But unfortunately, this radius we can con we cannot control this uh, value of this radius. Okay, okay. Then I click OK. I continue again with this. Uh, maybe I will use uh, eight. Okay, eight. Okay, let me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think eight is okay. Okay, and then. I will continue with the uh, uh, shape here. So we right now we already have this one, and then okay, I will continue create the sketch in this sketch, and then I will offset this by two point five. Okay, I extrude. Okay, but I want to join with the length of. 22 okay and as well as here I also create a 2.5 for the offset and extrude it with the join with the minus 25 okay okay and then uh, we're going to have the fillet radius Okay, from here. Okay, wait. Mm, I think I can use this one with this one. Oh no, what happened here? Oh, there's uh, something not right here. Let me check the feature. So, this is the profile. The last, the first profile. If I use the direction, okay. The open view. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this one I will use all the. Yeah. Okay. I will use all the profile here so when i create the fillet here so I completely have fillet okay two and also this one should we have the two millimeter fillet okay okay and then going to have this one let me measure how much is the the radius is 11 so 22 here we want to make uh, another sketch here and use a uh, 22 as a diameter and I will cut this one with the uh, minus 17 or maybe 18 yeah 18 so and put the fillet chamfer one millimeter chamfer or no more zero point five is enough and then I will make the slot here okay slot over there okay the slot I'm going to use this uh, tangent plane I click here is a tangent okay right on the top and create the sketch and I will use this slot feature center okay center to center slot here okay i will create that one first and we'll put in the middle so this one you put in the middle and also the length maybe just eight and then the radius will be 2.5 okay i extrude this Okay, maybe minus three is enough. Okay, and then I put the chamfer. 
Okay, and then the rest here. So we have two step here. Uh, as we can see, we can uh, inspect the uh, seventeen, and then this one should be twenty. Okay. Okay, I will make a two circle here. Twenty. And then once again is a uh, seventeen. Okay, and then this is for the twenty. Okay, and then I turn on again to extra another form. Oh, sorry, it's not create a sketch. Just extrude the form here. Okay the smaller diameter and then create the chamfer 0 0.5 okay as you can see here all the shape is done and then if you would like to assign a material so just right click sorry um, and here you just create the modify the physical material Okay, maybe it's a metal and then will be the cast iron okay. cast iron and then if you like here to be assigned with the the just particular appearance like maybe I want to use the um, chrome like here just click the face so you just change only the particular face, not all the yeah here. Let me turn off okay. face here. Okay, so okay like that, and here as well. Face okay, just the face. Just click and drag to assign this all the appearance of the material that we want to choose. Okay. Okay. okay I think it's a uh, finish for this uh, shaft engine balancer, which is now ready for manufacture, and then. We'll see you at the second part of this uh, tutorial, which is we are going to create the machining. Okay, bye-bye.